Good everyone, welcome to today's video. Today it's a review on the 7534M42. And apologies for that, um, here's someone's blasting music out of the vehicle. I've got the windows open at the moment because my PC's running a little hot. I'll probably need to sort out the fan or something, see what's back there because it does get a bit dusty. But Anyway, less about my PC and her old age, because she's nearly four, or well, she's nearly four now. Um, and let's get into the review. So, the vehicle itself is completely, it's not really changed for much from the 32M41. Literally the only thing that's changed on it is the chassis. So, the armour is exactly the same as the 7532M41. But all that's changed is the engine, because it's actually using the M1542 chassis, which I am thankful for. It is a good chassis. Not not exactly a Stug chassis, but it'll do. So the gun, exactly the same. And the, the pain of me driving this thing got so bad, I actually G'd my way just to get the heat shell. I was just that done with this vehicle. I wanted it done as soon as possible. But hey, anyway, let's get into the replay. So the original plan was to show a replay I had on Fields of Normandy, but I was spawn camping in that and I got an ace, so I don't think that's fair. That doesn't really show what a vehicle can do in a more productive way, but even so. So I'm actually going to skip some or most of this battle. This is simply due to the fact that not a lot happens for a good couple of minutes. So in this battle, it's another one of those situations where you've got a crap team, but you've got more powerful vehicles than the enemy team, as per usual. Now this is a good little spot to use. There's like a gap in the rock where you can stick your gun through. Obviously, I am speeding through this part because, well, I just think it's more, but well, there's not a lot of action. I do miss every single shot there. That was due to me poorly range finding. And I do apologize if you can hear my PC's fan. She's getting a little old. Oh, she's doing fine. I do need to upgrade in the well, I might upgrade this year actually because my old girl she's done me well but she is getting on a bit I mean she's gonna be four in April and sometimes she runs a little hot it's not very often but because of the heat of my room at the moment this is not helping matters so now we're getting into the first actual bit of action get some Matilda obviously I've immediately dabbed a two key Water tanks E100 player style, and I've started firing the heat. Now I do track the Matilda there. Matilda, I don't think, had a clue where I was. This shot here was poorly range finded, but I lower it just a little bit, and three, two, one, on its way, and job done. There goes the Matilda. I spot Sherman. Press the one key for AP because it's better for dealing with sides on Shermans because the heat would just it would do damage. But when you've got an AP round, I can do that. There's no point. Second kill. But unfortunately, there's a Sherman here. There's an M10, and the enemy team are pushing the forest, which is the right thing to do on this map. I don't particularly like this Conquest map because most of the time you get players that push down around about here and they push through the town, immediately flank and go to spawn camp. That P40 will show up later. He goes and I, I think he takes on the BF1 and an F2. And then um, I've got this Muppet in an F1 M2, which is about a rate of 1.0 Japanese biplane. It's a fun plane, but. Oh boy, some of the teams I've had spade in this thing. Spot is in free leaves, gun flash, AP round. 
And the Coffin for Seven Brothers felt that pretty badly. Knocking out pretty much everyone in the tank except for the poor sod who loads to 75. That's the third kill. Now in a moment, this tank destroyer down here, which is a Stug 3A, is going to die. And you will also notice that the quality is a lot better on this video. I have adjusted my video settings to update them. Well, at least I hope it's done what I've asked, like what I've modified it to do. And hopefully this video should come out a lot more less like you're recording on Bandicam or something like that and more HD hopefully speed to the trigger there by the Panzer 3L he takes out the C50 and there you go there is the Stug that's just died obviously I saw that on the minimap there is a Valentine Mark 11 I think that's in Rebel Maneuverals of course I know it's a Valentine so I'm dabbing a 2 key I always like to think my upgraded rounds is like um, gold ammo in World of Tanks just for a joke. Obviously stock round would be your stock AP in the World of Tanks game. And obviously premium would be APCR and things like that. So I didn't actually see the Zis until the fire just then. Take out the Valentine's Trek. And in a second I get his cannon breach which is quite nice. And there we go. I was originally going to fire on a Valentine, but I spot this. Fall break is the 75mm heat. It's an instant kill. Fourth kill. And here's my final kill. Once the shell penetrates, mind you. And there we go. That Valentine felt that one. That is the fifth and final kill for the match. Now I am going to skip ahead again. I do look at that bladder because I was actually confused. I thought it was a Martin 167. Turns out it was a Blenheim. I took a shot at the I-16 there just for the lols. Now if only I had a machine gun, I'd have took pot shots at that guy, but... For some strange reason he flies at a Flak Panzer and the Flak Panzer decides to shoot him down. Good on him. The I-16 was dead anyway, I'm pretty certain his engine was out. Anyway, back to four times speed. You can see just in the kill feed here, ladies and gentlemen, that this team is just collapsing. I mean, a 94km truck has just wasted a Panzer 4 2 That should not be happening. It should be the other way around every single time. But because of this team. I thought about charging this AMX here, but it turns out Dino Soviet, who does kill me, just to point out, I do not survive this battle, takes out the Flak Panzer. And I do apologize for any background noise again. I've got my windows up because my old girls are running a little hot. Now, I knew the, the Chroma was there, obviously I was backing up. I didn't know if the e AMX had seen me. He probably has, to be fair. But at this point, I'm surrounded on two flanks. I had no idea where the Chroma was. The team wasn't exactly helping. And any second now, he's gonna come over that ridge just behind me there, in the gap of the rocks. And he's gonna kill me. I was thinking about turning around to confront him, but the AMX was going to come after me most likely. I thought if I turn around to deal with the AMX, I could at least get one gun out of the action, but that was the wrong move. Dino Soviet comes over the ridge, puts one in the back of me, job done. And that's it, I'm afraid. That's the end of the battle. Ace in a day, which... I didn't get many off in this vehicle. I think I only got about three. But this vehicle can do well. It's just you really have to work your socks off for it. If you need a 3.3 tank destroyer. Oh, wrong one. Just drive this. The 105.25. You do lose in reload. But at least you get decent frontal armor. 
well, across the case bay at least, this area is quite weak, but this will be the next spade review, most likely, unless I spade a plane or a, the 76 Jumbo, which I haven't driven for a while. But hopefully the video comes out with better quality, and let's hope my old girl is going to be okay, because she's getting on a bit. But, um, yeah, so, if I was you guys, I'd just ignore this vehicle. If you want a 3.3 tank destroyer, just get the 105.25. It is a lot better. It has exactly the same mobility, I think. I haven't spaded it, as I said. But um, it's got a better gun, better penetration on its AP, better penetration on its heat, better armor, better mobility, and... Ugh. There's just no point to this thing being 3.3. I think what Gaijin should do is take the 7532 M41... Put that at 2.3, or sorry, 2.7, or maybe even drop the dash 18 down to 2.0, then put the 7532 there, then put this at 2.7, then put the 105.25 at 3.0. That would be pretty fair in my opinion, but I don't work for Gaijin. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you all on the next one.